I'm Julie Huck. And I'm Ryan Cecil. And this is your South End Spotlight. at Johnny's at 13003 Dixie Highway and I am here with Marvin who is the owner of Johnny's and Marvin thank you so much for having us today I would love to hear more about Johnny's Corner and how it got started uh, we started it with the, uh, the thrift shop and then I added the bait shop but the thrift shop came about because I own right way hauling junk removal and demolition I seen a purpose to help keep stuff out of the landfill and get it in here uh, it, I've watched it for two years, two years people just throwing stuff away. I rented the bigger building and decided to bring the stuff in because my dad's got a saying that says, it basically says, use it up, wear it out, or do without. I like that. So how long has Johnny's been open? Uh, since September 13th of 2022. And we definitely needed a new bait shop because Al's closed, my husband, we tried to go to Cedar Supply and get crickets, y'all, and the crickets were like that big. So we are super excited to get some, some good crickets on Dixie Highway, let me tell you. So tell me a little bit about the bait shop. Where does your bait come from and how are you so getting use, your name out there? Uh, bait shop, as far as who we use, is uh, Wholesale Baits out of Ohio. Our guy's name is Butch, he supplied Pepper and he supplied Al's Bait Shop. Uh, so we're continuing to have the same bait guy because obviously he, he produces good bait. Uh, he brings them to my crickets, my minnows, my shiners, all my worms. Okay. So wax worms, uh, the night crawlers, all of them come from Butch. Uh, the other stuff I supply myself, like the skipjack, I go out and I catch them myself because oh. I, uh, I'm a licensed commercial fisherman and I also have a bait selling license. So I can go out and get all of the fresh bait myself and supply it to the Valley Station okay. in, uh, South End. Uh, the bait shop came about after the fact. Uh, when we took on this bigger building, we had to find a way to supply the need and uh, be able to call, cover the cost of the building. I'm a big fisherman. I have been my whole life. Uh, my father raised me on it. Uh, it is my favorite pastime. So has business been pretty steady like with the bait shop? What do you find people coming in more for? For like the thrift store, the bait shop, what are, what, uh, how have uh, things been? We got a lot of regulars now for the thrift store and of course we're at Spring and here's a boat pulling up out front. <laughs> people are happy to see a bait shop back on yes. Dixie Highway. Yes. And what makes it better is they have a fisherman running it. I know a little bit about fishing. <laughs> But uh, that, that's what makes it a better bait shop is we're supplying these guys on the river. Uh, we've never had that here in Louisville, Kentucky. Any cat fisherman that fishes the river will tell you. I, go, I spend hours and hours going after bait. So we're cutting that out for the guys, uh, hence the live eels. And we're going to have big bait like bluegills and stuff like that to where they don't have to go hunt it down and they can just go enjoy their time. Well, I love that. Like I said, we have definitely needed a bait shop. My husband is super thrilled for crappie season to come in and get in on, on oh, the yeah. crickets and everything like that. Thank you so much for showing us around. All right, y'all, spring is here, so if you're looking for some bait or some gardening tools, you need to come out to Johnny's Corner Thrift Shop Bait and Tackle. I'm going home to yard work. <laughs>